Well, we're, we're very happy that after you know, so many years, now we are able to, to start working together with Delta in this very important JV. <coughs> this JV is different because it's going to be the first in the world that includes narrow bodies. So it will be in terms of operations, in terms of airport collocation, in terms of network design, it's very challenging. Uh, we expect today between the two airlines we have uh, 70 flights, 70 daily flights. In the, in the short to medium term we expect to increase that to 100. And the idea is to better connect the hubs that we have in Mexico, mainly Mexico City, Monterrey, Guadalajara, with Delta hubs in the US, in the West Coast, LA, uh, Seattle, then Salt Lake City, uh, Atlanta, Detroit, Minneapolis, and, and New York. So we will be able now, the benefit for the customers is that they will have more frequencies, more cities serve, uh, less connecting times. So that will mean, you know, uh, more productivity uh, and more efficiency for, for all the clients. Well, the main source of growth, again, in the short to medium term, is this Delta JV. We plan you know, to add, uh, again, with a number of flights moving from 70 to 100 in a balanced growth a scenario with Delta to increase probably our seat capacity in around 10%. And we're also increasing in, in an important number our seat offerings to Europe and Asia now with the Dreamliners. So we are having more frequencies to London, to Amsterdam, uh, to Madrid, and keeping the daily flight to Paris. We are opening a new station in Seoul in May of this year. We're flying non-stop Seoul, Mexico City. Uh, and we are adding frequencies to Tokyo, Narita, and to Shanghai, China. And also keeping uh, you know, our frequencies uh, to Santiago de Chile, Buenos Aires, and Rio de Janeiro, so, uh, sorry, and, uh, and Sao Paulo. So uh, that means that in terms of white bodies, we will have uh, double digit growth as well. What makes really an airline efficient in, in, in the long run is to have you know, as much as possible the less you know, number of cabins. Back if you look at you know, Mexico 12 years ago, we used to operate seven different type of aircraft, seven different cabins. And that's you know, very unproductive in the sense that uh, every time you need to fill a gap, for example, in the, in the top of the fleet, in the white bodies, then you need to make movements over all the different type of aircrafts. By the early next year, by the first queue of 2018, we will only have three type of aircraft. The E-Jets in Aeromexico Connect, and the 737s, now with the MAX arriving in February of next year, and the 787s. So we will have an efficient, modern, and much more productive fleet versus we know what we had uh, 10 years ago.